motors, one by one at each uh, joint. There's no motors on the wheels themselves. So the wheels, instead of going you know straight like that, like a car, this thing changes its body shape like a snake does. And as a result of this wave motion, it's almost like rollerblades the way it works. Because the wheels can't slip to the side, it makes it go forwards instead. It actually, yeah, I was, uh, I was wriggling all over the place. So if I set this thing up to go straight to begin with, it will go straight. And it will still, you know, go in a, you know, serpentine path, but it will go in that direction. But that's because this link will move equal parts left and right from this straight plane. If I start it in a curve like that, it's going to move equal amounts left and right from that position. And because of that, it ends up following a curved path. So if I start this in a really tight curve, it'll follow a really tight circle. So it actually is the same uh, programming that makes it go in any path. It just depends on what starting position is. They also hooked up a remote controller, but uh, it's really kind of too small as me, to make it fun to play with. So we just let it go around. So this snake here is from the biomimetic uh, robotics lab. Actually, the professor of the lab taught a course on bio-inspired design. And so